Oh, what a day. I'm exhausted. We uh, started at the uh, Galeen River Bridge rest stop. Not bad, due to a little bit of a restless night, but uh, no, it wasn't bad. And uh, so then we uh, got into Calberry. Great spot, Calberry. Whoa, that blew me away. That was awesome. Seeing the, the nature's window, um, the, uh, the sky bridge, just totally blew me away now my change my, my plans changed a little bit we were going to go back and then down the uh, in, inland passage but uh, thanks to Steve Jude's brother he said to you got to go down the scenic way you know so we shot into Calvary picked up some supplies whipped it down the coast saw that uh, the bluffs man that was rugged rugged and windy I mean, I'm, I'm pretty exhausted because of the wind and um, it was yeah, a bit shattering that we couldn't go and do as much that we wanted. Oh, back up a bit. We didn't do Z-Bend because, yeah, it was too windy for Z-Bend and yeah, we, we got the best of Kalbarri. Thank you very much, weather. Um, yeah, that coast was <laughs> gnarly, gnarly, gnarly. So yeah, we continued down Pink Lakes. Yeah, you saw that. I couldn't get the old drone up. Um, she was, um, yeah, she, she was struggling the old drone. But um, on the way, I had this little uh, little get out of jail free card. It was um, El Benjo, El Benjo. That's where we pulled into right now. It's um, lovely. It's, it seems like a bit of one of those eco type farming type uh, solar this and give it all. Uh, there's no power, no water, so self sufficiency. That's good. Lovely flat sites here and i'll just spin around now and you will get a eyeful of the fields of color how cool is that we've got a view there straight out of the van out over that way so we've got the sun coming up on my left and disappearing on my right stars out here tonight are just going to be glorious um we're going to make the best of it because in a few days time the weather is packing in which kind of means yeah geraldton's going to be a little bit of a yuck better swing around a bit more and get this microphone into a little bit more less windier condition so yeah that's our plan hey um, some some facts I'll, I'll go back to the van and out of here some facts about um, <coughs> where we've been um, the the lake the pink lake um, beta carotene excuse my pronunciation again but um, Beta carotene, used a lot. You've probably uh, not realized it, but it's in your margarine. Um, I believe it's in Fanta. And a lot of medical, uh, a lot of medical and a lot of um, makeup as well. So uh, there's something that I've learned that was from Pink Lake area. And we've seen that a couple of times um, on our travels so far. Um, and this area is pretty famous too for um, lead, um, silver and uh, garnets. So, uh, Thanks to the bloke here, uh, Jock, who's uh, looking after us. Um, he passed those couple of facts over. And um, yeah, watch the space. Jude's booked in. This is also at um, El Benjo. Is a, um, a bit of a, uh, um, a rescue farm as well. So um, animals that need a little bit of care and attention to get back up on their feet, um, along with other animals. Um, 
um, Ju's gonna cover all that side of it. I'm gonna leave her to do the old research and development on that, and I'm just gonna put my feet up and relax. But she seems to be pretty pumped tomorrow. And um, because we're here, um, and, the, and the weather's just windy, and it's gonna get wet soon, we're going to lay low. She's gonna do that. We might leave the trailer here, and um, shoot into, is it? It's North Hampton, North Hampton. Um, which was around, the town was around because of the, the mines, the silver and the lead. So uh, we're gonna pop in there tomorrow, uh, late morning, and see what Northampton's got in stock. And then we can come back here after doing all that and relax again. And um, I think it's about 100 odd Ks. It's if that to Geraldton. I'll tell you that when we're leaving, okay? But hey, yeah, great spot here, just uh, out here at El Benjo. And on this top of the hill, it's going to be lovely and relaxing. Thanks for watching. Spot ya. Just off to see what the facilities are like here at uh, El Benji. Uh, we've got ourselves a little shade house over here. Obviously, it must get very hot. And the little shade house is here to. Uh, shelter and communicate and have a little uh, supper and cuppa and well, there you go showers and toilets I'll let you know they're invigorating. Let's see what else around here. Well, there you go. Pretty basic camping facilities. You've got some books, medicals, a bit of a stone history. But hey, you're self sufficient when you come here. You have the best of bloody things in your caravan or your motorhome. This is nice, there's some power there, there's, there was some lukewarm sort of water and this is a roof over your head to stretch out, a bit of running water and uh, it's a grand little place, not too bad and it's in the early developments and it's got huge potential. So there you have our little parking spot for the night down on the back of the, uh, the park of uh, El Banjo overlooking some of the canola fields some of the mine sites in between uh, Gregory and uh, Northampton. And the sun's on its way down, we should be able to get some nice shots.
don't stop, so I'm gonna get on. Already ho, we just moved on down the road for a day trip into uh, Northampton. Real impressive, impressive little town. Um, let's see if I can find a bit about it. Apparently, it's got a little bit of architecture. I understand it's uh, renowned for some um, some footy greats. Uh, there's a good pub which also sells the Nine Legends beer or something, which we're going to go and give it a try. Um, Jude likes a sewing machine shop. So apparently there's a guy that collects sewing machines. And uh, there's some place for vanilla slices even. So here we are. Oh no, it's not the welcome to Northampton that you expect, but one on the side of an IG8. Here we are. Pretty popular too apparently for some of the uh, the artwork with uh, some animals. You can see some sheep there, there's another one up there by the, uh, the police station. Eighteen sixty-four is according to the uh, one hundred fifty-year celebration. Eighteen sixty-four to two thousand fourteen. It wasn't until two oh, nine, uh, 1868 that we got a pub. So eighteen sixty-eight, the pub came, and obviously the pub had something to do with um, breeding some good uh, footy legends. I believe nine that are uh, depicted here came from the town. So yeah, I heard there was three hotels in town. There was the lower, the middle, and the upper. We passed the upper back there, this is the middle. So I presume the lower one's down the bottom. So yeah, if you didn't quite catch the uh, sign up there, Stone Green Ginger's Wine. It's a good little remedy there for colds that we use for the microwave and a bit of rum. I know it's probably hard to do, but I've lost Jude in Northampton, but it doesn't take me long to track her down though. Uh, there we go. I lost Jude in Northampton, but I don't think it's going to take me long to track her down. Ooh, ooh. Good, thank you. I lost my wife, but I think she might be in the back room, right? <laughs> oh, is there? Oh dear! Strange. She's right. designer was uh, Monsieur John Hawkes. Um, uh, what can I tell you? Some of his best works are St. Francis at Xavier Cathedral in Geraldton and uh, Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church and Priest House in Mullawa where he lived for much of his time. Alright, so here we are in Northampton enjoying a Nine Legends Lager, a Nine Legends Brew or something, uh, for the Nine Legends, the footy players that are here, that have been born and bred here, I suppose, and um, I'm waiting for it to kick in. No, might have to get my money back, doesn't breed a legend. For that, maybe I'm already one, didn't know it. Um, yeah. Nice little pub there, we've ordered some burgers, had a nice walk down the street. So we're at the, I believe, the upper pub because it looks like it's uphill. The miner's, miner's arm. Um, so yeah, it's been a nice little joint. Hey 
Howdy all, we're on our way again, another couple of days ticked off, um, nice little spot here in between uh, Gregory and uh, Northampton and um, hey do yourself a favour if you're um, looking for a little spot in between that lot, wiki camps is a little bit hard to find spots, they tend to lean up a little bit um, once you leave about that uh, Galena Bridge um, before the Calvary National Park and if, if you're coming up from um, Northampton. Um, this little uh, campsite over here, uh, it's on wiki camps here, um, El Benjo, El Benjo, yeah, Judy, Judy put a, a thing down there, but look up, it's a great little spot. Um, it's, you know, it's not a caravan park, but it's, um, it's not a, a free camp either. Um, it's, it's cheap, it's, um, you know, it's affordable, it's a nice uh, flat um, ground. And it's got a, um, a bonus for a toilet and a shower if you need it, although it's a solar shower. Days like this aren't <laughs> terribly kind on solar. Um, but yeah, a lovely spot, nice and relaxing. And oh, for the kids or for yourself, they also do um, a rescue uh, farm. So um, feeding, um, a little train and things, they take you down there. So um, it's just a, once again, a nice, uh, uh, an affordable donation sort of thing. I think it's about 15 bucks or something. Um, to go and uh, take part of feeding the animals. But as you can see, it's windy as, and uh, we're off to Geraldton now, and um, we're gonna spend a few days down in Geraldton. There's meant to be some rain coming down, so I think it's timely that we go down there, one or two days or three days of rain, if that's the case, we'll sit in there nicely and um, get, a, get a fair bit of done, uh, get a fair bit done. We've got a bit of uh, computer work to do, a bit of cleaning to do, it's quite dusty and dirty out here and um, yeah recharge everything too my uh, fridge batteries and things like that are getting a bit low so get them on the top up so uh yeah El Benjo, check it out it's a it's a lovely little spot it's nice it's a bit like a cmca but um with a little extra um let's say with the shower and the toilet nearby there that which is good and a nice flat ground just just make sure you're fairly well self-sufficient as far as uh, power and water and um uh, black waste okay later <laughs> 